the other thing that I'll share too briefly is that in this playful experiment, uh, I really found benefit not only of all of these body practice, spiritual practices that I've talked about before, but also uh, internal family systems. So like really acknowledging that there are multiple parts within me that want different things and have different needs and maybe got stuck at certain ages of my life and are now stuck in my body. And if you know, you're listening and you're not really sure what that means, like if you think about like your inner child as a concept, your inner critic as a concept, which may feel more tangible and familiar to you. We also have, you know, the, the work worker bee or whatever that, that persona name is as a, as a part of ourselves too. And so working consciously with that part and asking like, Hey, how are you doing? You know, what do you need right now? Uh, what is it that you're wanting to do? And kind of bridging, uh, bridging the gap between all those parts that are inside of you at any given time so that you feel a greater sense of wholeness can also help with, with finding the, that I am energy. That was so beautiful. And this reminded me of the last uh, we pause session that we have live right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so we paused 10 where we were talking about like uh, giving the pen to our inner child. And I used the example as um, I, I called my inner child LA, which is short for uh, little Ali. And sometimes it's so fascinating. Little Ali has a lot of good answers to a lot of his needs. And it's, uh, it just became a routine for me. Now in my morning pages, I, if, I, if I get stuck and I need uh, something out of the box, I'm like, hey, little Ali, what do you think? And it's so interesting. As soon as I type, he has the answer. Or at least... And his answers are like very interesting. Um, they are very simple. They are like, "Oh, you're looking here. Look there." And it's so interesting, like how simple and playful those answers are. I just wanted to call that out. Are there any activities like this that I called out, like the morning pages? Are there any other activities that you would recommend for folks to kind of like? In this journey that they have, whether they lost their job, uh, whether they quit intentionally, um, and for other reasons, or no, whether they're still at work and they're just battling with these feelings and lack of connection, lack of connection to this world, per se, mm -hmm. or lack of connection to themselves uh, because of all this stress. Are there any kind of like practices that you would recommend to help bringing those inner conversations out in a very organized way so it's not overwhelming. I know therapy is one solution, but we know everybody is right now, if they're laid off, they are applying and they are doing this, doing that, doing that. They may say, Ali, Emily, we don't have time for therapy. We don't have money for therapy. Are there any activities that we can introduce to our folks to kind of like connect to that inner child, yeah. inner personas, not just the inner child? Yes, absolutely. And I loved that we pause episode that you did. So if, if y'all haven't experienced all these magic about being an artist, highly recommend you check it out. It's fun. Yeah, so this is a great question. So let's, let's maybe pick someone of one of these people, uh, fictitiously. So say you are still working, and your friend is laid off or your teammates are laid off and, and you're wondering and you're kind of spiraling. Or if you're laid off and then there's a moment in your day where you start spiraling, right? So just imagine whatever your like archetype that you resonate with right now. Maybe you're a parent and you're wanting to get a job, right? And you're spiraling, whatever it is. See if you can stop whatever activity you're doing and take a moment out. So you know, if you're in a public setting, go somewhere else. Like it could be a bathroom stall. Like it doesn't have to be, you know, this <laughs> whole magical meditation space. You don't have to wait till the end of the day, right? And then just check in and ask yourself, 